Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Maybe you have to go far. You need some something along the way. You have a little piece of puck over here. <laughs> I have to drop it. Keep it for times of you know clean, you know. What number on sixty-two? Oh, sixty-two. We are uh, like three quarters of <clears throat> paragraph two. Okay. So a quick, 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 no, quick, yeah, quick synopsis, summarize, quick summary of what we learned so far, so that we keep the entire uh, teaching as a cohesive piece of learning, so we don't know what we're talking about. There's some base, which is Torah's manis, that the Moh Hashem, a lot of people in Breslau are learning, the tremendous force. It goes on the Pasuk, Vayasev and Akim, it's very thrill. The shot of the Pasuk is that Jehovah who led Am Yisrael in a circular way, they came out with Shrein. But um, the Medrash says, the Yashiv, the Yashiv, I'm sorry, the Yashiv, the Shon has Sabo. You know, like Kulani Mesubin on the Seder night, right? So the Yashiv is the Shon Sauda. So you have to eat the Sauda. So the Rebbe starts at Terry by saying, you should know that it is through the, uh, the eating of Am Yisrael, when a Jew eats, that creates a situation of a unification between HaKadosh Baruch and Shekhinah. Not just that, but it's <laughs> The best kind of unification are different levels. There's the highest level, up and back and face to face. Then the rabbi says that, that, that <clears throat> nevertheless, it has to be, you no, know, it's, 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 it has to be a eating of food that was purified to be eaten, it's fit to be eaten by a Jewish man. And then Rabbeinu says that means eating with the Muna. You're eating with the idea in mind that you are going to serve a Kaddish Baruch with that food. That's the reason why you eat. Now the thing is that the, <coughs> there are endless levels of the Muna, one on top of the other. And um, Rabbeinu is going to teach us we're starting how how to be uh, to a muna that is so complete that a person can be soche to a fact. Up in the happen through his eating. We're not talking about Shabbos eating, Yom Tov eating. We're talking about eating, sitting, eating popcorn. That, you know, that's that kind of thing. I saw a wonderful aura from Rav that said <clears throat> that it seems like Rabbein shows you a great mahala of what to do to eat with the moon, how to the moon, and the poiskin, and so forth and so on. It keeps on going and then the time is all kinds of stuff that we will learn. But nevertheless, the Rebbe starts the Rebbe saying, Da shall they achim lo so shall Israel. That's something that's already happening. So we said that 
אין הכינה מתגנת בהייס מדרגה, you do it when you follow all the steps of it that we're going to talk about here. But the Maisa, it is something when you are Mekusha to the Tzadik, you're connected to Ravenu, where everything that you're eating, <clears throat> doesn't matter where you're standing along the ladder, you know, in this process that I mean described in the Torah, you're already creating Yichud Kuchab Yichud Shkintei, Apin Ba'apin, according to your methods. Without the Tzadik, you, want to, you wouldn't be able to do anything. With the Tzadik, you just eat with the Kavona, Hashavat Adish Baruch Hu, the Koyach that you get from this eating, that's enough. <coughs> it's enough to already create Yichud Kuchab Yichud Shkintei. Okay, now there's levels. Beno says, after he speaks about Amunah, he goes to Das. Talk about it at length. That there are two kind, kinds of Das. There's a Das. You should know what to answer. A heretic. <laughs> and Rabbeinu mainly talks about the heretic in your own heart. The heresy in your heart. Then there is, there is <laughs> such cautious, uh, such problems, such <coughs> dilemmas, you know, mental pretzels, that it is not humanly possible to answer them, to answer them, would say, you can't do it. And this is then, so those cautious, you know, it's a big mitzvah to sharpen your mind. Whatever it is the Kaddish Baruch Hu has limited for the, 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 the human seichel to understand, the Chazal or whatever it is, all the Gemara, all the, it's a mitzvah to do to sharpen the mind. But things that it's not possible for a person to answer, to answer. like that's why Kaddish Baruch Hu does this, why Kaddish Baruch Hu did that, why Kaddish Baruch Hu did that. I mean, beside that, I mean, if you are global material, you cannot whack on Shbok or this, but even the Dayla Torah cannot, uh, cannot understand anything about the Shbok of himself, I think. This way, there's no, it's totally beyond. I mean, the other things, you know, in our Madrega, even things in the conduct of the Shbok and the Bria is also very problematic because we don't know the entire Torah. Somebody who knows the entire Torah will be able to give answers to all the difficult questions <clears throat> they have to do with the conduct of the Baruch Hu in the Bria. Nevertheless, let it says there's still times, even those questions that are answerable, that a person is in a constricted consciousness. His mind is blocked. And you know, the, 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 the efficacy, the talent of the intellect to give the answers to the cautious that you should be able to give answers to get blocked. Except for that, what is it called? Cotton or small degree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in mm -hmm. such a situation, then suddenly during that time, heresy is being injected into a person's heart. Momentarily, he just didn't know how to answer. And boom, heresy, shtickle heresy was injected into his heart. <clears throat> he says, the main Indian is to subjugate the Yesotov under the Yetzirah. At such a point that, <laughs> you, that you won't have any inclination to do anything. Because Shabbat Shalom doesn't want you to. You got no. You have any any temptation to do anything that Shabbat Shalom doesn't want. You have to reach that level. You have to first overcome your etzer or whatever you have temptation to overcome it. You have temptation to overcome it. But eventually, the main and the Rebbeim says how to do it is you should get to a point. That you cleaned out the Yetzirah. Now the Yetzirah is also the servant of Yetzirah. 
is the servant. Yitzhahara is the servant of the Yitzhatov. You don't have any. Yes, no, but, but to the point like a slave working for his master. You know, don't give me any opinions. Don't come in any suggestions. Just do what I want and that's it. Zerakot says that even after Tchias and Mason, there will be Yetzar. Yetzar? So Zerakot says, what do you need Yetzar after Tchias and Mason? Zerakot is going to shake the Yetzar, right? So what do you mean there will be Yetzar after Tchias and Mason? Zerakot says because there cannot be any uh, um, progeny. People won't, women won't give birth if there's no Yetzar. That people will not give birth. Women won't give birth. We won't have children. Oh, won't have yeah. Won't have children. Okay. So he says the Yetzirah will only be there. The type, the good side of Yetzirah, that which enables the chicken to lay eggs and, okay. and, and men to have children, that will remain. But the bad side Yetzirah, that tries to push you away from going to Zbrocha once, that will not exist anymore. So the bad side is animalistic. Yeah. So the the uh, so Ravina explained that okay. So what what do you do? Okay, now Yetzirah does not bother you. There's not hakia China to do things that Kadosh Baruch doesn't want. Where's Bechira? Where's choice? The answer is the choice of Tzadikim is no longer whether to do what Kadosh Baruch wants. Or not. That's not the Bechira. Their Bechira, Rabbi says, Rabbi says that their Yetzirah is a holy angel. Malach Kodesh, holy angel. Yetzirah of Tzadik. And the Yetzirah of Tzadik is, he has one job. That is to mislead the Tzadik. The Bechira of the Tzadik is not whether to do what a Kodesh Baruch wants. But what does a Kodesh Baruch Hu want? So you can say, I understand that. If he, if he tries to the best of his ability to find out what Baruch Hu wants, and he happens to make a mistake, does it mean that he made an error? Kodesh Baruch Hu. The answer is, the answer is that the Tzadik should have been able to figure out the rots of the Kodesh Baruch. But there was a certain kind of gum, as it were, in the decision-making process of the, of the situation that happened before he made the decision that caused him to mistake, to make a mistake about what it is the Kodesh Baruch wants. That's the challenge. Yes. So we have Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu, well, the people cried for water and Moshe Rabbeinu came with the staff and before he hit the rock, Moshe to speak to the rock and he hit the rock. What happened before? When they came, you know, to this, you know, this place with the many rocks, Moshe Rabbeinu got upset with the people. Mm -hmm. And he said, Shimu Listen, you unruly people. From this cellar, we will get our water. They just said, Ah, you come to anger. You come to you, make a mistake. The Ramban before said, yeah, the, it's the Ramban has a different opinion about this, this, this whole, he says that there's a machloikis in Chazal, what was, what was the gum of Moshe Rabbeinu? So most Mithrashim say, you know, hitting the rock with the stick instead of talking to the rock. The Ramban says no. And it says, the Pgam was if you got upset with the people. That's why I hit the rock. 
So you see, there's really no machlokes. <clears throat> Are you talking about the reason that he made the mistake, or what actually was the mistake? Dakol Moedim in this, before he made the decision, he became upset. He became upset with this. And it's Adik Lamo Shabbat is Oris Adinim, Baruch Kodesh, swayed him to make a mistake. He got the game. He swayed him. This holy he angel. Didn't what they the Amtoka the the Yitzar of Tzadikim is already Amtoka of Dinim. It's not. It's 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 holy judgments in the Shemai. It's supposed to sweep. And because he doesn't make the right choice, he doesn't do it. That is that's a shot of Avera but Tzadikim. That's what the Kosh not sweet. What? Yeah, the judgments are not sweet. Because Baruch told David Amalek, you want to build the Samikdash. Because Baruch says, no, you're not going to build. Why? Because you spilled many blood. You spilled many blood. David Amalek did everything. You know, it was with Thomas Hashem. But the role of David Amalek was, David Amalek was supposed to spill the blood by the Rats of HaKadosh Baruch And as a result of that, as a result of that, he did not totally sweeten the judgments above. That's why he could not build the Mishnah. Only Shlomo Melech could build it. Because the face of Shlomo Melech, there was Shalom, Melech Shah Shalom, Shalom, Shlomo Hashem Shalom. You see here, there is the Geatra Atari as well. So after we, we have, so the, the heresy in a person's heart is the fact that the person does not realize. Because Baruch Hu is standing over him and is listening to every single word that he's saying when he's davening. Isn't this why the Rebbeinu says that if somebody, let's say, is criticizing us or speaking in a not nice way, that we're just supposed to be quiet? I don't know if the two are, are connected. Hmm? I don't know if the two are connected. I don't know, it's, quite, it's possible, I don't know. Um, just one second. Um, Rabbi Weiss, can you uh, mute yourself? Do you mind? What? Me? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Thank you. So, That is heresy in the heart of a person, the fact that he cannot see a control. What do you want? I'm trying. I'm trying to see how this world What do you want? The answer is the re- you cannot see because there's still heresy in it. Because the Yatsayor Yatsahara is not totally subjugated to Yatsatay. It still has its own nefarious ideas. Just waiting behind the corner. Whatever says, what you need to do, you need to, that means that the heart, there's a machloik, it's in the first of the heart. There's a dispute in your own heart between it's a thumb, it's a home. What you need to do is you, you have to make peace between it's a thumb and it's a home. That does not mean division of labor, you know. It's a tov, you work from nine to five. It's a hard five to twelve. That's not what it means. It means that the Yetzahara becomes subjugated to Yetzah Tov. Both of the Yetzah Tov. It says the only way to do it is by learning Poiskin. Learning Aloha, learning Poiskin. Now, the thing is that why? Why is that? Why is that make Shalom? Because originally, you know, every single thing has a root above inclusion. The machloikets of Yetzah Tov, Yetzah Har in the heart stems spiritually from the dispute between the Tanoim and Amaroim about what the Aloha is. And it trickles down all the way, all the way until it becomes a hot Yetzah Tov, Yetzah Har. So if you are able to learn, if you are able to learn uh, to the point that you know what the aloha is, 
you're making peace. This Tana holds this way, or th this Tana holds this way, this Amaira holds this way, this Amaira holds this way, and the Alocha is so and so. There's peace. And that's why he says, you know, that, that to make Sholem, you are answering the Apicorsus, the heresy in your own heart. That's the, that's the piece you need. Reina says that's why the letters of the word Shalom, Shin Lamed Vav Mem, is not recon, is there a Davis, Freda Ma Shetoshev Lapikernus. You should know what to enter, what to answer, the her a heretic, the, the heresy in one's own, own heart. This is what I've been. The Rebbe said, this is all the kashas that a person can find an answer. The kashas that have no answers. Also, the a person is not allowed to delve into them and to study them and to find out, try to figure out what he answers. Yeah. Yeah. Zedai is the above. Okay. Of Shalom. Ma is the man of Shalom. Shetoshim is the shin of Shalom. Labikar is the lamid. Yep, shin, right? Lamid, vav, mem. Shin is, where is that in Dhamma and Shashi? Where is that? Shetoshim, not Shetoshim. Shetoshim, Labikar, ma. Da ma shetoshe lapikoyes. The shetoshe is the shin. You see? No. The da, da, ma, the men, shetoshe is the shin. Lapikoyes is the one. But kashas that really they have, you know, they're endless kashas, you're supposed to be mechazik yourself only in emuna. And she yesh lo emuna b'shlemus, when a person knows the answer, to the kashas that can be answered, and he's able to strengthen himself in the Muna, also in a place where he cannot figure out the answer. Okay, so I don't need to understand. I know this is beyond me, the chazik of the Muna to believe that even though I can understand, there's an answer for that. When a person reaches this madrigal, he can answer the answerable. And he has a Muna to stop himself and believe on kashas that cannot be answered. Then the eating of such a person creates yichud kuchab It achieves, it creates a yichud between the Kodesh Baruch and Vashkina. In other words, this is Chines Achilo, Chines Amuno. One of the very, very important aspects of this whole thing, you see here that through the eating, the Jewish eating, you're you are you are you are affecting because I'm not a tzaddik, right? I go with my. You know, I don't like the tea. You know, I like the sugar. What, what do you want from me? Who do you think I am? Right? And there are many levels to that. Nobody says that a person is not allowed to eat things that are tasty. But the kavana should be, why am I eating? Why am I drinking? Every single time that I'm, that I'm eating, I go, yeah, if I can, but the truth of the matter is that as long as you are concentrating in your life 
in the issue of what the Kaddish Baruch Hu wants from me and how can I do, how can I fulfill my mission, it doesn't matter whether you come out, when you're making the cheshwan, you actually come out, figure out, you know, something. I don't, I, I don't cut mustard. I, 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 I ain't making it. <laughs> it's just like, I ain't walking out, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a very poor show. It's a very sorry show here. It doesn't matter what you think this or anything else. The minute that your mind is basically on this Indian of what do I achieve with my life? Yeah, but I'm worried about my health and I'm worried about this and I really want to be comfortable. I don't want to be in pain. And I want all those things. So maybe that means that I'm really not in the Madrid order. It doesn't matter. What you need is basically you're connected to the tzadi. Your machshava is basically to live a Jewish life and to do what you need to do in this world while you are here. Already, you're eating when you're connected to the tzadi. Is already creating the chut kuchav yichoshim. Apin ba'apin. Da'ay eslamu. Nah, come on. Maybe him, me. <laughs> come on, I know myself. I know me like nobody knows me. The answer is it's not true. People know things about you that you don't know. You know things about yourself that they know. But also, you think various things about yourself, which is simply not true. And other people are not making that mistake. Because that feeling of like, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no, 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 come on. It's a joke. That is yet so hard. The truth is that you are bevadai good. Bevadai. But, but what about uh, do tshuva? Do tshuva and look forwards. Just think of mind. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. You know, and, and I'm sorry I did it. I wish I hadn't done it. And go on. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? The thing that makes it easier said than done is Mr. Yitzhahara himself. The true, the true conduct of a Jew is that you should know. Are you are you are you think are you trying to, to fill to fulfill the Rasa Kodish Baruch Hu to the best of your current abilities? No matter what that ability is, you have in mind. If the answer is yes, you connect to the tzaddik is bevada. The answer is you are bevada good, and if you remember something bad that you did, you tshuva and look forward. But you know they say that anybody who runs after the covered, the covered runs away from him. Anybody that runs away from COVID, the COVID runs up to him. If you ask the question, so if you're running, you're running away from COVID, and the COVID chases after you, how come the COVID doesn't catch up with you? <laughs> but the answer is because I'm hearing someone, you, you're looking back to see if he's still chasing you. <laughs> right. <laughs> the same thing is here. You made tshuva. You regretted what you did. You are leaning on the on the koyach of the tzaddik. Just move on. Why are you looking backwards? That's the Yitzhahara. That's the Yitzhahara. So much attention we put to this. So much tefillah. 
should be should be invested on this particular nekuda that you should believe and I should believe that I am you are bevadai good and all the yapping all the lip flapping that the SR is doing yeah but you this you there or that is yet Sahara Gomer is shtusim vavolim. Only at a certain time when you're making this vaisalus, you know, you made shuva, whatever it is, then you have the nefesh, you're supposed to look at things that you did. Over there is Shaya Chalev Nishbar, Shaya Chalev Nishbar, bring me close to you. We're talking about Shaya Chalev Nishbar. So, I mean, there is what to do, Chuba. There is what to reflect. But that not during the day. That should not be your general opinion about yourself. Because a person who is bad does not feel bad about himself. That he's under Hashem. He does not feel bad. If you feel bad that you're not doing what a Kajbal wants to the level that you really want, that means you're good. A person who is bad doesn't feel bad. A person who is bad doesn't even think about Kodesh doesn't care that he doesn't go. I'm saying a person who, if you, if you were chas v'chalila really bad, you wouldn't feel bad about not doing what a Kodesh wants. Meaning you wouldn't be doing Yeah. You know, it's okay. What do you want from me? You wouldn't even pick it up on your judgment and effort. Yeah. Not sake of history. Yeah. What's the problem? As they say in, in America, and your point is, it's like, duh, what do you want? Being that you feel bad about <laughs> the things that the malfeasance that you have, that you did, that means that you're good. That's the biggest proof that you're good. Mm. You mentioned the story about you know the purple gang with the Jewish mafia. In, in New York, and <clears throat> one of the things that mind you, you cannot hear what you're saying. Oh, is that the Purple Gang? Yep, they were the mafia in New York, Jewish mafia in New York, and cahoots with the other mafias, etc. But anyway, these guys were defined as people who loved their mothers so that. They would take time off from their mafia work and they would, on Mother's Day, so to say, they'd go visit their mothers and love their mothers, even though maybe earlier in the morning they killed somebody. We're talking here about a different level. <laughs> Baal Hashem, we're not there. Um, but the, 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 you know, it, it's like, a friend of mine was giving me some kind of a shot about Indra Zuta, about Shin Bayochai, saying things about himself, who is going to be in the maiden, whatever it is. So, so obviously, Shin Bayochai was not boasting. The, the possibility to think in the cloud that the tzaddik is boasting means that the person does not understand what a tzaddik is. A tzaddik is somebody who lives with the presence of a kodesh No difference at all times. What is shayach to boast so as somebody else will think something about my about me? What is shtus? A boasting, a saying their own glory, a glorifying themselves in Madrega. It's because we need to know that. Moshe Rabbeinu said, let, wait, let me ask Kaddish Baruch, let's see what, what the name is. You know, this, uh, this week's Pasha? This is about, about the Pesach Sheini, right? This is, Am Yisrael did Pesach in the Midbar, and all the people that were Tmei Nefesh, <clears throat> some people say they were the people that carried the, the coffin of Yosef. Some say the coffin of all the Shvotim. The word Tomel and Nefesh. So any Tomel and Nefesh cannot be Pesach. So they came to Moshe and said, you know, hey, 
why am I chop liver? What about us? We want to bring Pesach, but we can't do it. So Moshe Rabbeinu said, wait, <laughs> let me ask as well. Now she says, Ashna Yalub Isho, how fortunate it is a mortal that is absolutely certain <laughs> that he can hear, you know, the screen, you know, he can meet the screen and speak at Kodesh Baruch at any, any point in time that he wants. And Moshe Rabbeinu is telling us his, his own greatness. Hashem told me, and Hashem said so, and Hashem said, how you're not afraid to speak of Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu is, 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 is trusted by an entire household. Household of the means everything. With capital E. <laughs> From there, you can find Rabbeinu says, a novel does not mean mm -hmm. anybody, I, I'm not, I'm nothing, I'm this, this. you know, and be the, you know, this, this kind of uh, it's a listless. False, it's false on you. It could be false on you. It could be something, or it could be just the Mazali. Stam somebody who's depressed and listless. A real novel, Rabbeinu says, when a person can say about himself the biggest praises and feel absolutely no pride from that. That's the ultimate. But nevertheless, let's stick with the, the, the Iker and finish off with this. The main thing, the main thing is you are definitely good. And it's just, it's not just pep talk. It's a crucial piece of information. It's a crucial piece of realization that you absolutely vitally must invest resources of time and effort to bear control or to instill this understanding and knowledge in your heart. It doesn't mean that you're a tzaddik. It doesn't mean that you're perfect. It doesn't mean you don't have anything to fix. It doesn't mean any of those things. It means just one thing. You are definitely good. Maybe even more than that. But I don't want you to get a swell head, so stop here. Mm -hmm. The Shem Kaddish Baruch should help us. We'll be able to have a Munas Tadikim like that, learn Poiskin like that. And the second, the Machlokas in a person's own heart, and in the Zat Hashem, so it's a Munas Shlem Zat Hashem, to know the things that are beyond us. So I'm going to have a Munas Zat Hashem, so it's this, the Rabbein HaKadosh. And we desire to see Geula Shleimo. That's a shame, the kind of Mashiach. That's a shame. Hey, Rabbi Amin, Amin. I want to wish everybody a good Shabbos. Shabbos, my life's home. What? What? That's a shame. Shabbos, everyone. Let's stop the recording. Stop the recording.